Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Gladiator trailer cargo net with cam buckle tie downs. Now this heavy duty cargo net is going to let you secure your cargo on your trailer or your flatbed truck. And as you can see, this cargo net has an integrated vinyl coated rip stop mesh that's going to grip your load under tension. And this webbing covered mesh is going to ensure ample surface contact with your cargo. And it's going to help keep especially your smaller items secure. You're not going to have to worry about it flying kind of like through the, the squares or the webbing here of this net. This, this mesh is going to keep your smaller items secure. The triple layered reinforced edges is going to provide extra strength. And this webbing and mesh is going to resist cuts, tears, and punctures uh, on some meshed items. Uh, sometimes that mesh can feel pretty flimsy or feels like it could be easy to tear. That's not the case with this net. This is a very high quality net. Very high quality materials are, are used with the construction of this. So this mesh is not going to easily tear or rip at all. It's very durable, very rugged, and that's the case with uh, this entire net as a whole. Now it is also UV stabilized to prevent fading and degradation from sunlight. And as you can see, this is a rather long net. It measures 10 feet long by four feet wide. And uh, I'm not able to put it all on my table here, so I have it overhanging on um, both sides of my table. But this does have 50 grommets that provide uh, flexible, versatile tie-down points along these outer edges. And then we also have uh, some of these grommets here at the, in the joints of the cargo net itself the inner joints. So this is going to give you multiple tie down points. It's going to be great for use on small and larger loads. So as I mentioned, this is 10 feet long, four feet wide. I do want to point out that this net is not stretchable. So if you um, think that you might be able to get this to stretch over a slightly larger surface, that's not going to be the case. So you want to make sure that you're getting a cargo net that's going to best fit the area that you want to cover. And it's probably better to get um, a net that's a little bit longer than the area so you have uh, ample, the, the ample uh, material, ample net, cargo net available to cover that area that you are wanting to secure. The webbing width is an inch and a half wide. And this cargo net has a safe working load limit of 1,500 pounds and the maximum load or brake strength is 4,500 pounds. Now taking a closer look here at our uh, cam buckles, four cam buckle straps are included. And I have this one um, opened up here. These other ones are bundled, but this one I have uh, open so you can kind of get an idea of the size of the strap itself. We have a quick snap carabiner on one end and then an end hook on the other and it's covered by like a rubber vinyl material that's going to prevent uh, scratches and scuffs on whatever you hook this to. And the overall length of each cam buckle is about 34 inches long and about an inch and a half wide. And the safe working load limit of each cam buckle strap is 1,323 pounds. And the maximum load or brake strength is 3,969 pounds. Now we, this does come with a zippered storage bag that you can uh, store your cargo net in with the straps when it's not in use. And so this is going to be very handy. And just to give you some of the features of this bag, we kind of have this window pocket here, but then right here in the front we have our main compartment where your cargo net and your straps can go in. And so um, that's easily accessible. Then on the rear of our bag, we have these, what I'm calling slide in pockets where you can easily slide uh, something in for quick access. And then right here we have this uh, zippered pouch. You can throw other items in there, maybe your straps, something like that. And the zipper is going to keep it in that pouch. By the way, I wanted to mention that this net is uh, DOT and NACSS compliant. And this does include a user guide as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to quickly fold up this cargo net. 
and put it in the storage bag just to show you that uh, it does all fit in there. So let me go ahead and um, work on getting this folded. I found that the best way to fold this is I'm going to be try to get uh, the corners on either end to match. And again, I'm very impressed with the quality of this cargo net. Um, it's very thick and it's got a pretty good weight to it. So it doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel like it's going to easily tear. I think it's going to be able to put up with uh, quite a bit of punishment, especially when it's outside in the elements. You're not going to uh, have to treat it with kid gloves or anything like that. And so I'm just trying to get it folded to where it's going to be compact enough to fit in that bag. And the bag is very durable as well. So you're not going to have to worry about the bag easily tearing or anything like that. And let me go ahead and give this a few more folds here. All right, let's see if that's going to fit in our bag. So again, we already have the cam buckle straps in here. This bag is somewhat uh, expandable. And so we'll just work it in there. And so this bag is going to keep, be able to keep everything together in a pretty compact form. So we were able to get it in there, zip this up. And of course, this is going to be easier when you're folding this up on your uh, trailer or on the bed of your truck. And the handle is very durable as well. It's a comfortable grip. So everything's going to be together and uh, it's going to be ready for the next time that you need to use this. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.